And our special guest in the studio right now here at New FM is a part-time model, a personal trainer, and he set up the Carlos Olberg Trust. It's a community trust aimed at helping to change people's lives through sport. And he just so happens to be one of the top 12 finalists for Clara's Bachelor of the Year for 2015. It's awesome to have in the studio. We also Carlos Olberg. My little brother, how are you, man? Hey, Nico. Uh, thanks for having me, bro. Thanks, New FM. Oh, man, our pleasure. Our pleasure, dude. Awesome, man. For more people, you know, than others, you would have noticed. <laughs> you know, but hey, man, it's all, all the good, girls bro. in here, man. <laughs> That's the one, bro. Lucky you, man. Can we just talk about your, your early years, man? Because they weren't so fairy tale like. You know what I mean? They weren't, nah. So uh, I grew up in South Auckland, and um, I grew up in foster home, foster care, and stuff like that. So um, the only push that I got to get myself out of that that mentality was to to involve myself in sport. And my family and friends were, were the main people that helped me out. And, you know, I guess um, you got to have the, the, the urge and drive to be able to, to push yourself and visualize what I can be and what, what sort of potential that I, that I have. So using that, you know, uh, I guess I'm here today and talking to people like you. So. Oh, man, <laughs> awesome stuff. Yeah. I love that story, man, because, you know, that's, that's an important thing that we've got to, you know, get out there for people mm. that don't know already. Um, so sport and training, of course, a great outlet for you. Uh, and now with your trust, the Carlos Olberg Trust, is that is that your way of giving back, man? Is that what it's about for you? Definitely is, man. And I've always wanted to do something like that, you know, I've, with my son here that I've brought him in today. You know, seeing someone uh, so small and it gives me the crease feeling, really, the goosebumps, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, you know, I was once that age and, and to see kids suffer the way that I did, you know, I want to kind of put back the way any way that I can all right bachelor of the year firstly man congratulations on making the top 12 finalists man awesome. fantastic stuff um well what's it like to be I mean not only you know just out there but a, a finalist in the bachelor of the year that's a big deal man yeah I, I mean I haven't really um it hasn't really sunk in for me <laughs> just yet but I guess it will in time uh I've just had a lot of support from family and friends and and obviously new FM has done a really big shout out to me thank you so much for that and a lot of people have kind of tuned into it and you know I've got over 20 30,000 people who have, who have just, you know, looked it up and and I've just been like you know gobsmacked and blown away about the whole you know a lot of people just putting in the, the efforts just to support me and it's you know I am the only I think I am actually the only Pacific Islander in the competition I checked it out bro and I'm quite sure I can confirm <laughs> that as well because I went and had a look in it this morning bro preparing for um, our get together today Yeah, I voted for you as well man Oh, what? so I put my vote in there eh, bro and then all of a sudden these red lips go over your body I'm like oh I don't know if I was supposed <laughs> to do that or not but bro you got my vote, oh, man. Thanks, but, bro. Hey, thanks man. For those beautiful kisses, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Anytime, man. <laughs> I guess this is a big question too. You know, like uh, people would want to know, especially the ladies. What What does Carlos Olberg look for in a lady? Um, I like a lady that you know looks after herself, is quite friendly, down to earth. You know, if you have a girl that is down to earth, obviously beautiful, you can look after herself, and and she's just um the type of girl that would you know get along with your family and friends and yeah. you know, that's the kind of girl you want to be around with and just someone who'd be able to drive you and you know a girl that would, would just motivate you to your dreams and help you is just the kind of girl you want to be with so, yeah, yeah i mean if there's girls out there man yeah i'm just <laughs> saying some listeners are probably ticking those boxes yep yep uh, yep 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 <laughs> that's me yep. and i can drive too carlos yeah. one type of driving i suppose anyway bro um the new zealand uh tv show the bachelor the first ever uh series we've had here in Aotearoa, new zealand mm. just finished would you do a show like that, bro? Uh, you know, a lot of people have have asked me to do it, and oh, they've told me they've, they're like, you know, I've got personal, uh, I take a personal training and stuff like that, and my clients are like, you know, just go and do it. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, nah, I don't know if I could, do it. I don't know if I could really put myself in that, in that position where it's it's kind of not real, it's not real, but right. You know, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess. Yeah, well, bro, I'm going to say, you know, with you being a finalist in Cleo Bachelor of the Year, and with that series just finishing, there's already talk about a, a series too. That mm. uh, might just be perfect timing for you, man. It, it may be, man. You yeah. never know. I'll you talk to know. Simon about being a pro manager role for you, bro. I don't mind <laughs> coming in there. Just quietly.